The second type of validity associated with a measurement instrument is criterion-related validity. Criterion-related validity usually includes any validity strategies that focuses on the correlation between the measure being validated and some well-respected outside measure. Further, based on the time frames, the criterion-related validity can be classified into two categories, concurrent validity and predictive validity. Let us first look at concurrent validity. Concurrent validity is the degree to which the scores on a test are related to the scores on another. The already established test administered at the same time or to some other valid criteria and available at the same time. Alternately, concurrent validity can be understood as the ability of a test to predict an event in the present. For example, say a school teacher needs more volunteers for the upcoming annual function. For this, she decides to use a test to determine who all can volunteer effectively. She administers it to students who are working with her currently. She then checks to see whether students who score high on her test are the same students who are effective volunteers. In this example, she is trying to establish concurrent validity of the test she has developed. Second type of criterion-related validity is predictive validity. Predictive validity is the degree to which the scores on a test are related to the scores on another test administered at some future time. Alternately, predictive validity refers to the ability of a test to measure some event or outcome in future. For example, suppose that you develop a cognitive test and you claim that it can be used as an indicator of job performance of an employee. The predictive validity of this measure can be tested by estimating the correlation between test scores of the employees and, for example, say the year-end performance ratings given by the managers.